are you saying that that the God of the Bible is the All Is that goes way beyond the uh, the deep dark border? No, the All Is is beyond creation. Is outside of creation. It it is beyond anything we can imagine, and anything we imagine it, that's not it. it. It's beyond it. So. You have to take a little bit of um, time to set aside everything that you hold as valid to look at it in a different light and maybe even investigate a different premise. What if the God of the Bible was a, a extraterrestrial, let's say that, that could live well, for thousands of years. Well, my my, my whole prem- oh. yeah. my my whole premise of the Bible, which I've done several shows on, was based on the Enlil and Enki creating the human form and then becoming their god. Yes, exactly correct. And that's all within and creation. On a, and putting on a disguise, he could right. have been closet total. Right, and that's all, and that right, and that's all within creation. That's all inside the deep dark border. It's all in, it has, it's, it doesn't extend to the real God worlds. It's all in creation. Yes, and so eventually, when we get to the point where there's nothing for us to consider, then we have to explore that. If there's nothing to consider, how can we look at? creation, how can we look at not creation? What is not creation? That's well, a, a well, what I'm, well, see, what, what my study is, I'm, I'm trying to, to show that, that, the, uh, that the Lord God of the Bible really is um, tied in with the Kalnaranjan and Grog and that this Apostle Paul of the New Testament got all his training and lessons directly from from Greg and you know worked with the uh, reptilians from Orion and set up all these religions and and the whole concept is is based you know as as you've been saying all along that uh, I'm trying to prove that you know and write articles. Where I can show that uh, one, one of the very interesting things about the uh, Old Testament prophecies about uh, the British Empire and the United States and prophecy, they're all being the the, the promise was they would always have uh, a king leading their people. There would never be a time when there wasn't a king sitting on the throne of the Israelite people, which is which is the United States and the British Empire. And we now know from all the research in Duane and, and Rebzar that all the, almost all the kings, you know, at least since the time of Christ, have been shape-shifting reptilians, which are, you know, created and working with the Orion's, um, the the Ryan reptilians and the beings that they have created to be shape shifting reptilians that shape shift into human form, and that all these kings that have been ruling Europe and 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 all these are really shape shifting reptilians, and those are the kings that were the descendants of the promises of the Lord Almighty in the Old Testament. And I'm my research is to prove that that the throne of David and that kingship was all about, it was all intended for the shape-shifting reptilians and not for the average human being on the planet. Well, if you took a cigarette lighter and went back to the 17th century and you walked up to a peasant plowing the field and show him how uh, your cigarette lighter works, and you said, I'm your God, bow down and worship me. I think the peasant would probably bow down and worship you because that would be something he had never seen before. 
and didn't understand it. So here we are in the 21st century seeing all kinds of phenomena that we don't understand because somebody has created a occurrence that we would uh, not understand physically and has told us, bow down and worship me, I'm your God, we would probably bow down and worship because we wouldn't understand what's going on. Just like now, you can go to an emergency room with a heart attack and they can apply the paddles and compressions and they can bring you back to life. Whereas Jesus did the same thing with a different kind of protocol in his time. And he was very nice. He says, my father does all these things. Well, who's your father? You know, oh, the guy sitting on the throne. Oh, okay. And as you look at as you look at things, it's good to question. It's always good to look behind the curtain to see what's going on. Is somebody scamming you, uh, running a story on you, and causing you to not believe or disbelieve? It's an adventure, and we have to have take time to look at the answers. And we might not like the answer we receive, but it's right there in front of us. Maybe Tim can give a better answer. Tim? <laughs> well, it's real interesting. I was going to mention to Bob what we're becoming aware of is that all the religions were created by the reptilians. So they have well, their agenda for, for, for religion and what they say in the books that people believe and have faith in and hope. and <laughs> So it's it's all their information that they're um, trying to influence us with, whether it's true or not, they make it seem like um, it's something that's important. But look what the religions of the world have done, including the one that claims Jesus as their savior. It's been nothing but brutality and insanity almost. Um, fanaticism, the religious wars have been, and they're still going. Those are all wars are from the religions, whether it's through the Pope and the Vatican and his reptilian buddies or what. Well, see, you know, and I'm in full agreement. That's what a lot of my, my talk shows have been about proving that it's Greg and, and the reptilians who are the God of this world that created the human form. And before man incarnated into that form, but they, they're the ones that started the religions of sacrifice and all these other religions and the triune gods and all that. You know, I, you know I, I've been proving that all along, but I, I'm taking a different angle now. My, my new angle is if I can show that the Old Testament promises by God saying that all, all these promises are being fulfilled right up to, to to this day, the 20th century, and all of all the end time prophecies of the Bible are coming true, and and that the kingship that that God said He would never have a time when His people didn't have a, one of their kings on the throne, and I can show that every king, you know, like George Bush and all these guys are shape shifting reptilians, like the Queen of England and all these rulers, you know, down through the centuries are shape shifting reptilians. I can turn around, turn that around, and say, "Well, here's God saying I will have my my people sitting on the throne, and if I can show that they're shape shifting reptilians like David Icke does, then it shows that their God really is a reptilian God." I'm 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 trying to turn around and and show the the negative print of what's going on. You you see what I'm trying to say here? Yeah, and as we're becoming aware of, all deception in this cause and effect creation stuff shows up. So it will be showing up what's the truth. So, and and that's why, you know, for, for those of you guys who can freely travel the heavens, you know, if if you know for sure where, I mean, you, you know, I'm sure Dwayne and Rebzar know exactly where Jesus is. That would really help me prove my point if I, uh, if if Jesus really is uh, sitting on one of those thrones on the on the lower heaven or the higher heaven, 
and working with Cal or Jotin or Anjan, right where the, this, this New Testament Apostle Paul went on a daily basis to, to consult and get all his information to perpetrate the fraud. And if Jesus really is sitting on sitting on that throne with with Grog and the Calder Anjan, that would be uh, further proof of of the, everything we've been saying all along. Um, where I understood Paul Twitchell said he's on the high etheric plane. He d- he didn't make it into the real universe as Jesus. Well, of course we we know he never made it into the real universes, and and and, and uh, the Apostle Paul says he went to the highest heaven. Well, the highest heaven is the third heaven in, in creation, right? Yeah, but I think I'd um, <laughs> trust in Paul Twitchell more than uh, Apostle Paul's writings. Well, well, but what what I'm trying to prove is possibly the Apostle Paul was. Was was co- in cahoots with with Greg. That's what I'm trying to prove. And if what he said about Jesus being on the on the throne on, on the mental plane, what Greg is not true. He's really on the etheric plane. Then that just adds a lot of credibility to to what I'm trying to say that that this is a bunch of reptilian nonsense that people are believing. Yeah, it sounds like it will be revealed when it's time i guess um i had a question for henry if he's still there are you still there henry he is here he is (laughs) yeah um you were talking about the scalar energy um pyramids you're building and and even the small ones you mentioned um put out I don't know if you call it power for five miles. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm unmuted. Um, yeah, well, I don't know exactly. I know that the uh, the big ones the Russians built, they were like 120 feet tall, and they did over 30 miles. I forget the exact number. But I built one that's uh, 10 feet tall, so that's, you know, 12 times smaller than 120 feet, so... 12 yeah. times smaller than 30 is, you know, a few miles or so, almost a few miles. So, yeah, it's a pretty big yeah. uh, field. But, but my, you know, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be different depending on, you know, the awareness of the individuals around it and the ones building it and everything too. So it's hard to measure. With, we don't have the instruments to measure it, but it definitely has a has a big effect, especially on the subconscious of the the people around us, you know. Well, what my question is about this is that you're um, affecting other people in the vicinity of this um, structure, and this has to do with cause and effect. Now, that's just like Jesus and about this uh, stuff like karma. If it's affecting them, um, it sounds like it would you would be taking on some of that um, of their karma, whether it's physical or um, by um, by your effort to um, to put out this beneficial energy in the area. It's still you're affecting people around you, whether it's health wise or in other ways, mental or so I just don't understand quite how the cause and effect um because that's like Jesus interfered with other people's karma too by what he did. They had things coming, and he um temporarily made them disappear, supposedly that's what we read and and the uh, Christians believe, but um that's part of what I'm wondering about is that these effects. In cause and effect. Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying, and and I understand. Yeah, I understand the view. The way I see it, though, is that, and so it's about my intent. My intent is just to create a real benefit for people, so they can become more aware and recognize their real awareness. 
and and the pyramid is doing it. It's not really me. I'm just building the pyramid with uh, with my intent to support the all natural environment and and I not I don't expect people to to recognize that, but but they have the opportunity to and it affects them subconsciously, but it's not like Jesus where he decides to heal someone just, you know, it's kind of, that's more like kind of putting on a show. But with this, it's it's just for the all natural environment life is, and that encompasses everything in creation and even, you know, in the real universes too. So, so it's not about healing people. It's, it's just supporting life and doing what I can to support life and whatever effect that has is, is, uh, is going to be an effect that supports life, whether it's healing people, whether it's healing the natural environment, the ozone layer or, or whatever it is. So, yeah, yeah I, I understand you. Does that answer your question? <laughs> it, it looks like then if we built a gigantic pyramid that with those proper dimensions, that it would have a big effect. If it yeah, was they um, did it, they did five it. miles they high, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I see the view, but but still, it's uh, what what we're really sharing with people is is the is the references to the to the real universe. So maybe a five mile pyramid will help people become aware enough to pay attention to what we're we're presenting, but. But the pyramid itself isn't going to give people that recognition. It's just going to assist the natural environment, their physical bodies, and maybe help them wake up to what's really going on here so they can pay attention to the references and to their real awareness. Because, yeah, the pyramid, it's it's cool, and it's uh, got the new energy, but you have to really recognize what that new energy is. You can't just look at a pyramid and be like, oh, well, look, I I'm, I can see my my higher self or whatever someone's idea is, but it's really the recognition of it and and the recognition of how the what the pyramid is and then and what it's what it's what it what it is, which is just it's just a piece of PVC or a few pieces of PVC put together, and then they're creating a a cool scalar energy field. And uh, that can that can assist your your bodies here in creation, but it's it's just created stuff. You have to you have to recognize what supports all of that, which is the the true reality. Life is yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Henry. Is there anything anybody else would like to say? I think we have about thirteen minutes left. I think we can go an hour and a half. Are you guys familiar with uh, the pyramids that Semyasi um, gave to Dr. Fred Bell to uh, have people wear? They're, uh, I haven't they're, heard uh, of them. Pyramid, he calls them a pyramid hat. It's uh, a pyramid that's made out of, it's, it, it has just the sides. It has the, the square on the bottom and then the apex and and you got the, the uh the metal going from the four corners up to the apex of the pyramid. It's like an isosceles pyramid. And the pyramid is made out of different alloys. And this this um, information was, giving, was given to Dr. Fred Bell by Semyasi, who was a Pleiadian that, that was here uh, back in the 70s and 80s and help, helped end the Cold War by... by uh, blocking all the governments on the planet from using nuclear weapons for uh, bad purposes. And anyway, um, I uh, bought a couple different alloy hats, and when you when you put it on your head, you can actually feel the energy change in your head immediately. You might get a headache or, I mean, you you have immediate sensation of, of it affecting your... Uh, your uh, well, whatever you call it, your your uh, energy level, I guess you might say. And uh, I just got the cheaper ones, like the, the 10 or $25 ones. He had more expensive ones made out of platinum, and I couldn't afford that. 
And uh, they also say that if you put it over food, it will preserve food for, like, you know, much, much longer than it would be preserved if you didn't put this pyramid over it. So it doesn't have to be very big or very complicated to be effective. So any, anybody heard about those? I heard about witches' hats and stuff, how they'd wear them. It's just kind of strange in a way, all these effects from certain physical things. Well, he, he uh, you know, uh, Semyasi, you know, they're, they're about 3,000 years advanced technology of what we are on the planet. And they made a whole bunch of devices like like crystal amulets you could wear, and it has a bunch of pyramid shaped with different angles, and it can completely block uh, um, like uh, cell phone signals and and protect you from damaging signals. Or it it will take those signals and harmonize them to where it provides a benefit for your body instead of hurting your body. And that was all all given to uh, to uh, by Semyasi to Dr. Fred Bell, but he was murdered like ten years ago in Minneapolis. Um, so he had a um, he had an interview with somebody there, and uh, that night after the interview, he was murdered. So uh, I think his wife runs the business now, and some of the things that he provides on his website, his old his website that he that he had when he was still alive, some of the things he had he has crystals and <clears throat> different different things that. That sell up to five and ten thousand dollars a piece, which was way above my budget. But they had, they did wonders for your health. And for anybody that didn't know the uh, the Pleiadians from the from the planet that she came from, uh, they're human beings just like you and I are human. And their average lifetime was around a thousand years, nine hundred to a thousand years, was their average lifetime. So uh, whatever they did must have worked well. Yeah, we also might have been Palladians in previous lives ourselves. Um, it, it all gets down to, it's about our awareness. So even though those things may be beneficial in the psych realms for the physical and stuff, unless they're helping connect us to the real universes, it's just um, temporary stuff. It's not going to last anyway because the psych realms are all going to be turn to ash and start all over again, you know, and with this stuff called time. <laughs> but, yeah, there's all kinds of things. It's all kinds of things. But like Dwayne is saying, put your efforts into presenting the new you, however we can do it. So would anybody like to um, mention how anybody listening new could connect with the new presentation through the Facebook or things through that um, they'd like to say? I'd say the easiest thing to do is just go to wonderfulworldwideeducators.com and uh, you can, from there you can find all our videos and Facebook pages and everything and uh, you can buy the new books and, and everything's there, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Henry. And it's for everyone to find out for themselves. So if anybody new is listening, test it for yourself and see what life shows you. I guess we could start the um, new you, you, you song because um, I think we're about out of time. It's been an hour and 25 minutes, I guess, and I think we only get an hour and a half unless something else. Um, somebody would like to mention something else. We still have a few minutes. I'll start with the new you, you, you song. New you, you, you. Claudia? New you, 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 you. Sandy, Bob? New you. Val? 
Thanks, everybody, for the discussion. Did I miss anybody on the new UU song? We'll see everybody soon. See ya. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks Thank you. for being thank involved. You.